Okay, almost forgot to do this one. I forgot it came out yesterday. So before I leave back out the house again, I'm gonna do this. Hobbs and Shaw trailer. Man, I'm hearing their superpowers that they're turning it into like some kind of superhero. Exactly like a superhero movie feel. I don't know, but I'm in for this. We'll talk about everything after I watch this, but let's get into this right now. I'm dealing with the future of the planet. Unnecessary shock to the system. I am human evolutionary change. Bulletproof. Oh, okay. I thought so. Superhuman. Who the hell are you? Bad guy. The mission has been compromised. Oh. We need help. Okay, yeah. I thought it was going to be some kind of manipulating genes and stuff. No, he did not. The target's he, name that is Brixton. He's a ghost. We're going to need the best trackers in the business. Luke Hobbs. I'm what you call an ice cold can of whoop ass. Career lawman. Always gets his guy. We're going to need to operate outside the system. Deckard Shaw. Of course. I'm what you might call a shadow. Gotta get somebody who can blend in. Well. Rogue former MI6 agent. Doesn't play well with others. Former MI6 agent. We stand a chance Rogue. against Brixton. Yeah. You guys have to work together. No way. This guy's a real ass. At least they don't like each other. I kind of like that, but. That's not how it ended in. This job. The last movie. Requires stealth. We've seen that video. I'm trying to save the world, which, for the record, will be my fourth time. Because I'm really good at it. You have no idea what we're dealing with. <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw. Now that's the crazy stuff I'm used to. Remember me? He jumped up the window. On my three. Sure. One, two, three. I knew it. Oh, he's running down the side of the building without a harness on him. Oh no, he got one on him. Yeah. Looks fun. Three shocks will kill a man. There we go. It's a bad guy's speech. You had to open your big mouth, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, I thought it was a cool thing to say at the moment. The movie looks fun. I'll be honest. I'm going to go see it. I'm a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise since the first one. Um, yeah, these movies did start getting more and more insane and wild. And, you know, the first one was closer to re grounded, you know, as possible. And then they just kept up in the ante. And um, I'm not even mad at it. When you have a movie, when you're like nine movies in, and even with spinoffs like this is, there's going to be some changes. If you can keep the tone consistent as the first one, and it still be good, cool. If you can't, oh well. But look, audiences have responded to it. Movies kept making more and more money, even when certain ones, like Tokyo Drift or um, like what Fast Four, kind of wasn't you know like the other ones were that we get now. But they people go to see these movies to have fun. They really do. That's what they became. I think that's fine. You know, I really think that's fine. So um, Hobbs and Shaw. I guess it's getting to me. Are we going to put that up there with great titles like Tango and Cash? Guilty pleasure of mine. I love that movie. You know. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, Super Power. Super Strength, Enhanced Speed, ref Reflexes. We saw something like this in Born Legacy. Remember Born Legacy? And I even liked the idea of how they came up with that. They were enhancement pills. Uh, super steroids or just enhancement pills. 
but they were able to permanently change the body by introducing it into their body like a virus because a virus spreads throughout your body, hit every cell in your body or something like that. So they deliver it to every part of their body to the point where the body just functions on it by itself. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But this, this guy's got some gene therapy or he's being, you know, enhanced some way and super strength. Look, Idris Elba, cool guy. Love his acting. Great bad guy sometimes. He's played bad guys. I really like him. But against The Rock and Jason Statham, he's going to need some super strength or something. You know what I mean? So, you know, whatever. I don't know. It seems fun. Let's go see it, man. And if it's whack, we're going to come back here and talk about it, all right? So if you like the video, like the video. That's my reaction to the trailer. See you next time.